YouTube fam, it's Coach Rod, how y'all doing? And also Facebook fam, how y'all doing? Coach Rod back with another video. You know, I wasn't planning on doing the video today, but you know, I saw a comment and I wanted to um, address this comment. It is not about me clapping back at the person, I'm not triggered or nothing like that. You know, it's just me passionate about what I'm doing and I really want people to, to, to be taught on my channel, you know. It's about empowerment on this channel. You know, I don't want nobody to be ignorant. You know, ignorant doesn't mean anything bad. It just means lack of knowledge. Because the Bible says what? People perish because of lack of knowledge. You know, and a lot of people out here perishing because of lack of knowledge. And a lot of stuff is not being taught right on social media. So I'm not triggered nothing like that. You know, sometimes I might do, get triggered and do a video. But it's not from an angry place. It's I'm I get triggered because of passion. Like one young lady comment, you know, Coach Rod, you you need to teach you men how to take care of their skin and their nails, and, and, and you know, cause this man on YouTube, he he teaches young boys my little here. Now that comment did trigger me. You know why? Because. Men, young boys don't need to be taught how to how to take care of their skin and nails. Young boys need to be taught how to treat a woman. That's what young boys need to be taught. You got a lot of young boys, when I do my videos, come in the comment, crying like a little girl. When I say something like, a man is supposed to be generous in a relationship. And young boys come in. You don't have to spend money to get to know a woman. You see what I'm saying? So that's what young men are lacking. Young men are lacking manhood, leadership, not looking pretty. That's not going to do a man no good that he look pretty. You know, as a woman, if you want that type of man, then, you know, you can... You you can you can work with that man and say hey hey baby he come a skin routine you know that's something that women can do but as a man I, I don't I don't agree with that come that so I got a little trigger I did I got a little trigger because uh, you know and listen it's okay for some people who watch my videos to agree to disagree no problem you know you're not gonna agree on everything I say. A lot of y'all women, a lot of y'all ladies, y'all see things different than from a man see stuff, you know. So I get that sometimes women gonna disagree with things I say, cause we don't see things the same way, you know. And what a lot of people don't realize, I'm from the old school. I'm an old school man, and if I wasn't taught how to take care of my nails and skin, I'm not gonna. Those are not my values. They don't make me a bad person. It just means that it, those are not my values. But the younger generation, like the younger women, you know, that's what y'all values are. Cool. We don't have to be enemies or get mad because I'm not teaching what you want me to teach a man. You see what I'm saying? So I'm not mad at nobody, you know, like that. When I come on, sometimes I may come off hard, I may talk hard because I'm passionate about what I'm what I'm doing. This is my this is my passion. When you're passionate about something, you're gonna come off, you're gonna come, you know, you know what I'm saying? You're gonna talk with some authority. You're gonna yell a little bit. Cause I care, you know. And, and, I, and I hate to see women and men going wrong out here in dating. But the young lady said, it's just I tried dating someone I'm not sexually attracted to. It's awful and painful. And, you know, she responded to the video I did about, um, what the topic of that video? She responded to the video I did about your preference is not always good for you. And she responded to that video and I'm a man. I've been with women. I've been married before. I've been, I lived with a woman before. 
And I know a lot about women. I don't know everything about women. I don't know more than women about women. But one thing I do know about a woman is. Now, first of all, I'm going to say this right here. I'm not saying get, a woman should get with a man who's totally unattractive to her. Somebody is attractive to everybody. Somebody might look at me like, man, he fine as hell, boy, Coach Roy. And somebody else might look at me like, well, Coach Roy, he ain't all that. He ain't Coach Roy ugly, whatever. That's okay. I'm not here by a cup of tea. You know what I'm saying? But to somebody, I'm attractive. To somebody, everybody's attractive. No matter who neglected you, no matter what they say about you, you somebody's attracted to somebody. Boom, period. Everybody's attracted to somebody. So, but I'm not saying a woman should get with a man that's totally, like, like, just don't do it for her. You know, like when she see him, she just say, no, I can't do it. That's not what I'm saying. Let me put that out there. That's not what I'm saying. But what I was trying to say on that video, and the thing I try, I try to teach some women, and this don't apply to all women, and I'll tell you, this don't apply to all women. I understand some women is not big on looks like this, and I get it. If you're not that woman, you don't have to comment, you know, you know, in the comment, well, not, not, not all women and all kinds of stuff. Oh, this is ridiculous. Women don't like looks alone. Women go back hair. Do you listen some women struggle with this. And y'all gotta realize every video is not for every woman. Every video is not for you. But you can learn from a video and say, well, this is not for me. But, you know, I can learn from it. I can eat the meat and strap the bone. But this video is for this woman and other women who think like her, who look at that attraction far as, see what this woman probably will see, she, that's lust. That's lust, what, what her problem is, you know. Uh, that's lust. I just, it's just, I tried dating someone I'm not sexually attracted to. See, that's lust. <clears throat> See what I'm saying? She looking at the sex. In the, in the bedroom stuff. <clears throat> now, back to what I was going to say before, I, 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 you know, I don't been mad before. I don't live with women before, you know, I, I don't been with some women. Not a lot of women, I wasn't a player or nothing like that, you know. I ain't had a bunch of, I don't got a high body count, nothing like that. But, you know, I, I've lived and had some experience, you know. And one thing I know about a woman is, and, and y'all should know this, and that woman should know this, but maybe she don't. Attraction with a woman does not always start with the bedroom or with the look, physical. Yes, again, I'm not saying a woman should get a man who just not attracted to her at all. I'm not saying that. For example, like if you know, if you're not attracted to big dudes, whatever, I'm not saying you should get a big dude. You know, if you are attracted to big dudes, okay, cool. That's, that's your thing, you know, you're into big dudes, that's your thing. But I'm just saying, I'm not trying to tell you to get somebody that you're not attracted to. But I'm trying to explain to women is, you know, you might not get everything you want in a man for his looks. And the same thing go the other way. A man might not get everything in a woman for his looks. And on that video, I did an example of, at one point, you know, on my route at, at FedEx, you know, there were two type of women that I was interested in. One was the one was my type. The other one was the one. She's not my exact type, but she still was pretty. When I look at her, she still look. Look, I'm trying to tell people, like, you got to pay attention. Maybe watch the video two or three times. And y'all be missing out on certain key things of the video. You see what I'm saying? Both of them are attractive, but the one is my preference. She didn't have the character. She lacked the character. The personality that I like. And that's what I'm trying to explain to women. And one thing I learned about a woman is love making with a woman, physical or uh, sexual attraction with a woman, don't start in the bedroom. Don't start in the bedroom. 
it starts with the Holland man treating you quality time. It starts with that man sending you for nothing gifts like small stuff like you know flowers. Women, y'all love flowers. It started with that's what y'all and this is what I'm trying to get women to understand. It's not about the, the looks and the sexual attraction. And even as a man, if some women are very attractive, and I won't touch with a 10 foot pole. Because, like I said the other day, up in here, the way they talk, I mean, you know, I, I watch content on, on, on social, social media just to, you know, to judge stuff. I do. And, and just shake my head like this, this young lady, she's attractive. I don't watch young ladies on, on, on Instagram. They're attractive. But I, I, I just said, and then I look at the men in the comment. I look at the men in the comment. Oh, I want to take you out. Oh, I want to, I want to spend money on you. Oh, I want to fly you in. I'm saying to myself like, y'all want to fly her in? Look how she's talking. Yes, those women are attractive. They are very, very attractive. But they're not good for every man. And it's vice versa with a woman. This, a man can be what you call, what she calls sexual attractive to. I mean, I guess to her, very fine and handsome is sexual attraction. A man can be all that right there. That's where women going wrong at. A lot of women got to realize, you know, and not all women, like I said, not all women, not all women, because I don't say all women, somebody. if I don't say all women, I'm giving somebody the room to come in the comment. Oh, women not like that. Women don't, we don't, we don't want sexual attraction. We, we want character. So, like I said, it's not all women, but some women, like this young lady right here, looking at things the wrong way. I could be in a relationship with a real fine sexual, she my type and everything. But if her character is not there, I'm not going to want to sleep with her no more. I know, I know, if I, I, and what I tell people, love making don't start in the bedroom. Love making don't start in the bedroom. The one thing I'm trying to get people to understand, that physical attraction stuff, that's good, but they don't start, in, that's, that's lust. That's lust. Do looks matter? Yes. I'm not saying looks don't matter. And I'm gonna do a video on that later on this week about yeah, looks does matter. You do. Cause me and women, we, we both visual. I get that. But at the end of the day, it doesn't start there. It starts with how that person treats you. And for men and women. For men and women, even, even with men, it starts with how that woman treats that man. Yes, we visual and we want somebody that's attractive. Yeah. But it starts with how that person treats you. Conversation. That's love making right there. Being on the phone, holding a conversation for hours. That's love making right there. Stimulating, you, stimulating each other's mind. That's a real connection right there. But see, a lot of women think that a real connection is the bedroom. Real chemistry is the bedroom. The one thing I learned about a woman, and one of my clients said, told me this here, because Rob, when women say chemistry, that means, you know, they want to sleep with them, you know, sex with them. And that's where y'all going wrong at. Coach Rob is a man of wisdom. Coach Rob ain't got no degree. Ain't got no degree. Ain't got none of that stuff that people want. Oh, you, you, you ain't got no degree. People call, come in and come in. Oh, you ain't got no degree. All in here. Whoa, whoa. But Coach Rob got wisdom. And Coach Roy is an expert at relationships. I'm trying to tell y'all. I don't care how physical attractive a person is. You can be with a person that's physical attractive. And if they don't treat you right, the sex ain't going to be good. After a while, it might be good in the beginning. But after a while, you're going to get turned off. Just what I'm trying to tell people. It might be good in the beginning. But after a while, you're going to get to the point where you, 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 you don't even want to sleep with that person no more. And this is why I'm doing this video to teach women stop looking at the sexual attraction stuff. That would get people in trouble. And that's why we got a world full of babies right now. 
We got a world full of babies, a single parent home, because you know why? Sexual attraction. We want to find somebody that we are sexually attracted to, but we can't get along though. But they look good. But they fine. And all we doing is making babies and arguing and fighting and then breaking up. Then now we are raising a bunch of kids without a mother, a father and a mother, because we going about sex we sexual attraction. Love making don't start in the bedroom. Even with men. Love making don't start is how you talk to a man. When you respect a man, that's love making to that man right there. Because that's what men need the most. Men need respect the most. Not sex. Not bedroom. Yeah, men love that. But if a man don't feel respected, he don't feel love. I don't care how much time, I don't care, I don't care how much that put you get that man. Oh, he'll keep getting it, but he don't feel love if he's not getting respected. Love making, sexual attraction don't start physically. That's just lust. This one I try to get y'all to understand. And when y'all come on my channel, you getting wisdom. You're getting godly wisdom, queens and kings. Y'all getting godly wisdom. You, you're not getting the stuff that you, you're seeing on Instagram, TikTok. You're getting godly wisdom on my channel. I'm trying to get people to be more mature and make more adult decisions instead of based upon sexual attraction, which, which I guess mean the person is aesthetically fine and got the body and all that kind of stuff here, but they ain't got no character. And that's the problem with society right now. That's why there are so many single parent homes right now. That's why there are kids right now growing up on drugs, growing up to their pregnancy. Because you, you know why? Because we adults coming together, we making dumb decisions based upon physical attraction alone. Alone. And we call that sexual attraction. It's everything not about but that put in the bedroom. I don't want to say the it's word too much. Everything is not about that. Everything is not about in the bedroom. Everything is not. That, that's good. Yes. But it don't start there. It starts how that person treating you. And again, I'm not saying get with somebody who's totally you just don't see attractive. I understand that. But somebody else going to see that person attractive. So that person for somebody else. But what I'm saying is. That person may not be the exact type you like, but it still is attractive and they have character. And they treat you right. They being consistent. That's, that's what's gonna get you turned on right as a woman right there. Then where you're going wrong at, lady. I'm a man. Don't tell me I know about, about women more than I know. Y'all know about y'all self. What gets y'all turned on for the bedroom is. Quality time, talking, coloring, holding, watching movies together. That's what gets y'all turned on about the bedroom, sir. You didn't know that about your own about your own body? You meet a man like that, you're gonna be ready for the bed. But that's sort of an immature mindset to say, you know, well, it's painful, this my the problem is not that the guys you dated so they was not sexually attractive. The problem was they weren't treating you like a queen. That's what it was. Cause when the man treats you like a queen, you're gonna be ready for the bedroom. That's what's gonna get you ready right there. Excuse my language, but that's what's gonna get you wet. How that man treating you. I shouldn't say wet, cause the boy. Last time I said wet, then some girl gonna send me an email. Oh, cold raw. You you put a good clean up in all in here. Yeah. But I'm being real though. That them call you clean don't mean you gotta be like you know what I'm saying like you know like you know like you lost like you don't know what's going on. I mean that's what happened. You know with people with women with men. The man got to get hard and the woman got to get wet. Okay. That's what get women in the mood. Not physical attraction alone. That's just lust. And that's the problem. We getting together based upon lust. 
And that's why we keep breaking up with somebody, get with somebody else. That's why we got a lot of high body counts. That's why a lot of women got high body counts. That's why a lot of men got high body counts. Because you know why? Lust. We don't know as human beings, as adults, how to make real love to each other. And real love making is not the bedroom. Real love making is respect. A man respecting his woman, a woman respecting her man. That's what real love making is. Real love making is how you talk to that person, how y'all talk to each other. Even when y'all argue, even when y'all disagree, y'all not raising y'all voice and you're not calling names. Y'all still arguing, disagreeing, but y'all doing it in the right, in, 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 in a healthy way. That's love making. Baby, I'm sorry, you know, I disagree with that. We have to we disagree. It's okay, man. I, I'm sorry too. That's love making. But a lot of times with women, y'all be with the men that's attractive. Coach Rod, we had so much chemistry. Oh, the chemistry was so good, Coach Rod. And I'm like, no, y'all didn't. No. Coach Rod, yes. Oh, the chemistry was so good, Coach Rod. So you never had chemistry with that man. Oh, yes, they do. I'm telling you, Coach Rod, the chemistry was great. Well, why y'all ain't together no more? Because a lot of women think chemistry is the bedroom, physical. What well, he's, you know, that, that's what y'all think chemistry is. That's not chemistry. Chemistry is you and a person got a real connection other than just the bedroom. Even when y'all not doing the bedroom stuff, y'all just love each other. This what you, <laughs> and this what I try to help people to understand, man. Y'all like, y'all not listening to somebody just getting online trying to get followers. They're saying any dumb thing to get to get people to like the videos and to go ahead and tell them. I'm, I'm telling y'all, this wisdom right here now. This wisdom. That's what love making is. Somebody can be so fine, but y'all can't get along. Y'all already arguing. That person quit to get mad, got an attitude. You're not going to be fully happy with that right now. In, in the beginning, it's going to be good. And you're going to keep, you're going you to hang in there with that person because they look attractive. Oh, man, they, they fine. Though. I've been there. I've been there. I done been with somebody that was attractive, but the other stuff wasn't there. The respect wasn't there. And I kept trying to make it work. Guess what? It ain't going to work. She was attractive, but no respect. So as a man, guess what? I did not feel love. I will attract the woman, but I'm getting, but the, the attract the woman telling me to kiss her AAA. I will attract the woman, but she's telling me, oh, you ain't it without me. I'm all in here. I'm out with F my ex and all kinds of stuff here. It got to a point where I didn't want to sleep with her no more. It got to a point where I didn't want to sleep in the same bed with her no more. Different times, and she was attractive to me. She was my type. She was my preference. But it came to a point where I didn't even want to sleep in the bed with her no more. I stopped spending that over her house, and I, and I stopped sleeping where I lived at. Because in the beginning, it was good. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But after a while, that person gonna turn. They're gonna try and tell y'all that's not real sex. This is not real sex with attraction. <laughs> Legs up in the air, making noise, physically fine stuff. Fine. That, that's not real sex with attraction. That's what y'all going wrong at. That's just lust. Real sex with attraction is respect. And this is why a lot of women and men got high body counts because y'all getting together, building a relationship on the wrong thing. No respect, no quality time, no common, no, no real deep conversation, no trust. All is about sexual attraction and this is where you got people going wrong at. There might be a young girl, I don't know, but then again, some other women, y'all the same way too. But it might be a young girl. Because if, if, if you if you old like if you if you around my age, you should know by now 
Like, come on now. You, you, you around my age. You, this, she can't be around my age. At least in her 40s and, and thinking like this right here. Because once you're in your 40s, you should already know child done been there and done that. I don't have these fine men, all that sexual stuff. It was good, but man, I need somebody gonna hold me sometime. We ain't gotta, we ain't gotta have We just watch a movie together and we, we get along. I want somebody that we, we just don't holler. Right, we, 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 every blue moon, we have a, a disagreement. Every six years, every five years, we, we, we have disagreement. I want somebody. That we can go a long time without arguing. Not da, 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 da. That's love making. Getting along with one another. Being nice to one another. That's sexual attraction. That's real attraction. Not the physical stuff. That's just lust. And as a man, I have to I had to learn how to control my lust. And not only judge a woman based upon looks alone, because that will give that was gonna get a man in trouble. Even as a man, every day I gotta say to myself, man, she look good though, but look how she talk. It's a lot of attractive women out there. I'm talking about nice bodies and everything. I would not touch them. I ready to give me a woman who's attractive also, but she don't have the body like her. Her body may not be perfect. It could, you, it could be a woman, her body is just Boom, I mean, curve, everything. I may, I may get me a woman. Now, I prefer booty. But if I see a woman and, and, and she's beautiful, but her booty is not like the other girl, and, and she god fearing and sweet and nice and kind, and we can get along, get what? That's, what that's, that's real attraction. Real attraction is a person's character. Their personality that you like about them. Come on, people. <laughs> and some folks, they gonna get come in the comment and just gonna come in the comment with crazy stuff. I'm trying to, this is wisdom I'm giving y'all. This is why we got so many kids single parent homes right now because all we doing is making babies. Making babies off of physical attraction. Alone. The key word is Physical attraction alone. Let me say it again so folks can understand. Physical attraction alone. Sexual attraction alone. Real attraction is how that person is treating you. Do they value you? Do they respect your opinion? Do they respect your feelings? If if you telling them well, babe, I feel as though like you don't spend more not that like no, that much time with me, and, and they telling you, well, man, I don't, don't want to hear all that there. But they say, you know what, baby, all right, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna make sure I make time for you. And then they start changing and making time for you. That's what love making is. Love making is quality time. Love making is acts of service. Love making is a physical touch. Love making is buying and receiving gifts. The five love languages. That's what love making is. Not the bedroom. Eddie Codrod, dropping these gems, trying to give trying to give for wisdom. Trying to help people to see things a little bit different. The reason why we have a world full of children without a mother, a father and mother in the home, growing up with a healthy uh, family environment because stuff like this right here. We don't know what real attraction is. Are we doing coming together, making babies, but we can't stand each other. Me and them, we can't stand each other. Hey, Coach Rod signing out. Talk to y'all. They don't, I might, uh, if I don't get the writers, if I don't get tired, I thought I eat. I'm trying to come on later on tonight and do another, uh, do another live. I feel motivated. So I feel motivated. But if I don't come on tonight, it's because, uh, you know, um, I'm, I'm, I'm tired. But 
I pray that God gave me a screen. I got another word that I want to share with y'all. I got a lot of wisdom in me that the world need to hear. Because we have not been taught these things. We are being taught stupid stuff. The stuff that's going to keep us single. Stuff that's going to keep us making babies outside of wedlock. But we're not being taught how to do stuff that's going to keep us and bring us together. Eddie Cordero, I told you all, 